Hello good dear viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to evaluate the ith root of i. Remember in one of our previous lessons, we have evaluated i to the power of i. So what is ith root of i? Before we start, remember this law of indices that stated if you have nth root of x, for example, it is the same thing as x to the power of 1 divided by n. Therefore, ith root of i can be written as i to the power of 1 divided by i, right? Therefore, ith root of i is equal to i to the power of 1 divided by i. Now we can rationalize this by multiplying the top and the bottom by i. So we multiply by i divided by i, which is the same thing as 1, right? So if you do that, you have i to root of i to be equal to i to the power of 1 times i is i, right? And to the bottom, we have i times i, which is i squared. But remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So it's like we are dividing by negative 1, which is the same thing as negative i. So we have negative i here. And i to the negative i can be written as 1 divided by i to the power of i, right? So i root of i is now equal to 1 divided by i to the power of i. But remember we have evaluated i to the power of i in one of our previous lessons. I think the solution is even here. You can see that here, i to the power of i is equal to e to the negative pi divided by 2. You can see the work in here. But let me drop the video linked in the description below. I think it's better, right? So this is the same thing as i to the root of i equal to 1 divided by i to the power of i, which is e to the negative pi divided by 2. This is just the reciprocal, right? So we can make it e to the pi divided by 2. And finally, i to the root of i is nothing but e to the pi divided by 2. This is the solution. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.